A lot can happen in the world to feed the beast, from being attacked by a three-headed hydra to a nuke blowing up your home. Well, those unfortunate events just so happen. Season 1 of Feed the Beast Survival has ended, but not for too long. A new adventure awaits us in Minecraft 1.6.2, an adventure with the twisting road. An adventure with new friends and an adventure of a lifetime. Okay, maybe not a lifetime. So I hope you will join me on this grand adventure, and together, we shall survive. Hey guys, I'm that Krogan HD, and welcome to the first episode of Mounted Survival. As you guys know, Feed the Beast Survival Season 1 has ended, but it'll be coming back shortly, don't worry guys. But in the meantime, here's a new series to just kind of fill the void of no f beast feedings. So, without further ado, let's just jump in to Mounted Survival. I have 11 mods loaded, 11 mods are active. Um, I'll show you guys what mods I have. These ones, of course, are for mod load, or forge mod forge loader thing that's for that um i have too many items raised minimap mr crayfish's furniture mod animal bikes craft guide craft heraldy fruit craftory or craftory whatever you pronounce it and the timber mod so it's a pretty um you know simple list of mods i can always add more mods throughout the series or season i mean it doesn't really matter what mods i have or what haven't i mean i can add them whenever so these are just you know, some fun little mods that just kind of spice up Minecraft 1.6.2 and just to kind of, you know, I think it'll be fun to play. I can't wait to play it. There's so much stuff to do and like it's just, I can't wait. Because I, like, as you guys know, I barely explored 1.6.2. So, uh, let's jump right into it. Um, I already made it a world. Modded Survival Season 1. Survival mode. Let's go into it. Alright, let's, let's see what's, well, what I have in here. Um, I have some stuff already that I got. I found some pumpkins over here, and I cut down some trees already. Um, I have some pretty simple stuff. I have the craft, the crafting guide. Um, I spawned that in. Um, as you guys, I told, as you guys saw, I did have too many items. I'm not gonna use it though. I'm gonna turn it off. Um, I just have it installed just for my personal play whenever I'm by myself playing a game. But uh, yeah, so here's the craft guide. If we take this out and look at it, and we put these guys in here. Um, it's amazing. If you drag this little blue thing out, you can see everything. Like, you can see all the crafting recipes for all the items, including the, uh, mod items. And I was looking through this and I saw a really cool mod. So you know how you can only get saddles from dungeons? Well, now you, now you don't need, like, look at dungeons. I can actually craft a saddle, which I didn't think was, um, possible. So yeah, here it is. All we need is some rawhide and some string and some iron. Boom, we got a saddle, but we need a lot of cows. We need to get at least 27 pieces of leather just to make one saddle. And I want to make all these animal bikes. I want I want the coolest animal bikes ever. Alright, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I apologize. Let's go ahead and get started with making stuff. This episode, we need to build a house. Or at least get a, some sort of layup. Or layup? Yes, we're playing basketball. We need to get some sort of layup. We need to get uh, some sort of layout set up for our house and where I want to live and how we're going to do this. Fortunately, this isn't the, uh, uh, uh what mod is it? The tree capitator mod, so it's not going to, um, take away the leaves. But, uh, that's alright, I don't mind. That makes, I can make it, that makes, blah, 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 I just, like, tripped on, like, words in a sentence. Um, it'll make it so much easier to make a, uh, I'm, I'm doing it again. A tree farm, we need to calm down. Okay, Krogan, you gotta stop and think. Stop, think, and smell the, the dead tree leaves. Alright, but yeah, and the fruit craftory, craftory mod, craftory, craftory mod, I don't know how you pronounce it, I have to do something. I was on peaceful. <laughs> Oops. Um, I need to get bone meal, and I need to just hit the ground randomly, and it'll make, um, Hopefully, like, there's a slim chance or, like, a chance of it making fruit trees appear. So that would be nice to have fruit trees show up. So that's a goal of mine, to get a fruit tree or exotic fruit farm going. That's one something I want to get done. But as you guys can see on the map, I found this amazing, like, peninsula type thing. Let me zoom out the map more. Um, it's probably hard to see. I'll bring up the big map. Like, this peninsula, I like it. There's a swamp biome over that way. Um... Where the arrow is pointing. Let me pull this down. You can probably see it kind of. Yeah, not really. Um, there's a little baby jungle biome over here and over there. Um, and it's just, it's it's a coastline. And it's I like the, the, way, the shape of it. I like the little harbor over here. So much to do. Um, if you take the coastline down that way, 
it will actually lead you, I think, to a little plains biome, which would be great to find horses, and I hope I can find a horse. Even though I have the animal bikes mine, I still want to have horses, because, I mean, who doesn't want to have horses in Minecraft? So, yeah, let's, uh, let's kill a pig, actually. I'm thinking about it. I want some food. I'm going to need some pork chops, you know, protein. I'm a growing boy. I need food. I also probably need to get, um, not that. I need to get some uh, stone actually so I might just go make a pickaxe first and then I'll kill some some pigs yeah I'll do that you you can live for today pig you got lucky but not for not for tomorrow tomorrow you're dead trust me I'm gonna nom you up and eat your face and be all like mmm pig so let's go find some stone um I also set up some sugar cane over there I saw some sugar cane growing so I grabbed the top and kind of replanted them Hope you guys don't mind. I mean, it's not like too game changing breaker thing. So yeah, let's just go and look for some stone. I uh, I really didn't explore much of this world besides um over there because I spawned over there and I walked through the swamp because I wanted to find a cool location and I kind of wanted a plains biome and I'm so happy I have a little plains biome close to the swamp. And um, this is a hole in the ground with cows that are trapped. We uh should kill them cows actually. And I'm going to get a crafting table, some sticks, and I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to murder some cows. But first, I need to actually, you know, find a way down there without dying and being safe. Because everyone knows you have to be safe when you're mining. If I just dig away this... Uh, yeah, YOLO. Ooh, that... that didn't feel good. Nope, that did not feel good at all. That just broke my legs. I can't walk now. I haven't even got stone. Give me two stone. Oops, come on, two stone. One, two, boom. Let's go ahead. Crap this up a, not that, a stone sword, and let's some let's slay some, Thank you, mouse. Let's slay some cows. Alright, there we go. I did not turn on, um, bonus chests like I normally do when I play a Minecraft game. So I did not get any bonus tools from the start, so I didn't get any torches, so I have to actually mine them. I will also let you guys know I have mob griefing turned off and keep inventory turned on. I'm sorry if you don't agree with the way I, how I play. It's just how I like to play. It keeps the game a little more fun for me. And then I don't, you know, get stressed out about dying and mining. So I hope you guys don't mind. If it really does, like, affect the way you like to watch Minecraft videos, then I, I apologize. I might be able to turn it off for you guys. Just for you guys. Um, excuse me one second. I will be right back. I need to go take a break. All right, I'm back, and I'm sorry about that. I had to go check on something with my dog. You know, real life gets in the way of trying to, you know, do YouTube stuff. So I hope you guys don't mind that. All right, it is also, or it's it's almost nighttime, actually, descending upon us. Um, I'm going to eat some raw beef. I really don't want to eat it raw, but I kind of have to because I don't have an oven or a st uh, stove. An oven, yeah, an oven. All right, so let me get some coal. Just kind of mine this up with with a wooden pickaxe. I don't like wooden pickaxes. They're so like annoying. Can I just have stone right off the bat, please? Um, I gotta go make a stone pickaxe. I'm thinking about it. I mean, I have it right here. That's a shovel. That's a pickaxe. So screw your noggin and let me let me get some of this coal. So recently, I've been watching a lot of TV. Yes, I've I, I'm gonna talk about TV right now. I've been watching a lot of TV. I've been watching this show called Bait Card. You guys ever heard of Bait Card? It's on True TV. Um, I don't know if you guys get True TV where you live or if you have cable providers. I don't know what channel it's at. I use AT&T, which I really not a fan of, but I don't mind them. They're not the worst company that I've had. Well, actually, kind of, they are the worst. Not, not, not within like stuff, but within just you know customer service. They. He did not. Do I'm gonna shut up now before people hate on me. All right. Um. So it's called Bay Carts on True TV, and it's really, really freaking funny. It's, the cops take a car and they leave it out in the open in like bad neighborhoods. And I think this is kind of like profiling because they leave them in purposely, leave them unlocked and open so people see them in bad neighborhoods. So I think they're really like you know they're trying to like point people towards like oh don't go to this neighborhood they're bad no one likes this neighborhood. Um. But anyways, and the, the sheer, like, things people come up with, like, oh, I didn't, I didn't take this car, I wasn't stealing it, I was taking it to move it over here, so it wasn't in the position it was at. And it's just so funny, because they're like, 
the capture like so you want to move the car like right here to this exact to, to this spot right here and sometimes they like shut off the car like in the middle of like a residential road and they're like yeah we want to shut it off right here and this is this is where we were going to park it so it doesn't get stolen good cover dude good cover and it's just it's so funny and i sit there and it's, it makes me laugh it makes me happy to watch that i don't know it just makes me feel like wow there's actual people out there who are dumber than me me all right, so let's move on and stop talking about dumb TV shows you guys probably don't care about. Let's just get some iron. We're going to need a lot of iron for modded survival, guys, because there, there is a lot of cool things I want to make, like an oven where you can put a whole crafting table, or whole, excuse me, uh, like nine things in it, and it cooks them up, but not at once. It just oh, it just keeps cooking them, so like you can have an entire oven full of like 64 stacks of any kind of food that cooks up or ores and it will cook up your food and ore at the same time so that you can have an oven just for ores and oven just for food and it's awesome and you don't need any coal I don't think I'm pretty sure it's a self-sufficient thing problem is I need a lot of iron to make it so that's that's a downside we're gonna need iron and I think I wanna make that first out of everything um, I know it's probably not gonna be smart I'm gonna waste all my iron doing it but in the long run, I think it'll work. It'll, it'll pan out and be a very good thing to make at first. Let me get some torches all up in here. Let me torch torch up the places. Let me get my crafting guide there. And boom. That was pretty bright, actually. That blinded me. I'm sorry if I blinded you, too. I didn't mean to blind your beautiful eyes. Don't, don't hate me. So I like this whole entire like hole in the ground. It's kind of like a... A natural quarry site so I'm gonna probably come here to do most of my mining so I don't disrupt the natural beauty of my peninsula that I want I had so much plan for this peninsula I wanted to like make to ooh, we got some light some lava I wanted to, to take it and like put up walls and like kind of fortify it and make it cool looking and I don't want to touch that lava and haha there's iron over ooh dang there's iron a lot in here give me my dirt and let's block up some lava. Are you going to go away, please? Thank you, Mr. Lava. I obliged. All right. Let me get some of this iron. Only one. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Yeah, only one in that vein. It's okay. We got some right here. We got probably we got a nice, nice little chunk of six iron right here. Um, We're going to need at least eight stack, eight blocks of iron, which is... So there's a lot of iron so we're just gonna kind of go through that and I'm tempted to not eat anything in this I have to though I don't want my food to, to I can't eat leather god I don't know mouse I'm trying to eat raw beef not leather all right let's get this coal um, but since I'm not gonna really need to use coal at first or after a while it's gonna be nice to kind of have my coal supply not really dwindle and I could use it for other things like torches or coal blocks and probably make some cool like building pieces out of it like some nice looking uh, builds and buildings and stuff and so yeah I kinda want this to be more creative like mixed with survival kinda like not like creative mode but like just you know be creative with my building because I kinda feel like in season one of Feed the Beast I kinda was lacking with the whole creativity of stuff I didn't feel like I I was at my fullest for, cre for creativity. Um, I probably could do way better if I tried. I really didn't try much. But now, guys, I am full on try mode. I'm try hardened right now. It's it's gonna be insane. I hope you can keep up. I see you. I'll come back for you. You're way up there. I'm gonna keep going down. But yeah, I'm gonna go try hard mode on this whole entire series for the time being. And then once uh, Feed the Beast decides to come back from its hiatus. Of course, this season will, or this series will have its season finale, and vice versa. So this is gonna be kind of like a trade-off thing. So for people who like Feed the Beast, I apologize, but you're not gonna get to watch it for a while. It's gonna be gone for a little bit. It'll return soon. And people, if and if people like this show, then when Feed the Beast comes back, I apologize. And you know, for future future things, when this show decides to have its season finale, and then we come back for season two, but there's so much to be had, and I'm sorry for cutting Feed the Beast uh, one or Feed the Beast uh, season one so short. It just 
stuff happened, I didn't like the way the world was turning out, and like I said before, also, I can't really redeem my world because, like an idiot, I decided, oh, well, I'm going to have fun, and if I'm going to be leaving it to go make a new world, I'm going to blow it up with a nuke and have a Hydra attack it, and I did, and it did not turn out well. Pretty sure I have screenshots to share with you guys on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, I will probably share the screenshots. Just tweet me saying you want me to share screenshots, and I will share screenshots. You don't even have to tell me of what. Just say share screenshots, and I'll share the screenshots of the nuke and also of the Hydra attack. Alright, so we have 31 pieces of iron. That is not bad for not really mining. Um, we didn't even, like, leave outside, kind of, in a way. So I'm going to take my way back up. Uh, I'll start it right here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get back up in here. Oh god, we're gonna go home. We're gonna start building a home, actually. Not this episode, guys. We're gonna get back home, get stuff settled, maybe go to bed, and then I'll probably say adios for today's episode. I need to make. Never mind. This should last me until I get to the to the point where I can walk. I hear spiders crawling around up there, and they don't want my face. They're, they're gonna jump on my face. You can't have the face spiders. No, no face having, okay? I will not have it. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, I will have it. But you will not have face. Okay, no face time. Ooh, wait, that's the top one. I saw... I saw yes. Alright. Okay, there... Uh, uh, oh, no, oh, 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 okay, back off. Good job. That's right, stay back. So let's get home, or at least to the spot where I want to have a home. Take some of the sugar cane. Let me replant it while I'm here, actually. Um, I saw a creeper all over there. Oh, he didn't see me, which is good. Plant some of that. Let's jump and run. And, oh! Hey, let's all just congregate on the place where I wanted to live. That's awesome. Thanks. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. You know who your true friends are. Oh, God, hello. I feel like, uh, oh, it's, the sun's coming up, so I just have to, like, outbeat the, outlast the zombies. Maybe get a creeper to blow up. Ah, not launch them towards me. That was teamwork. Did you guys see that? They, they totally teamworked me. Where did the skeleton go? I don't like it. Thanks, dude. Bye, dude. All right. Hello, piggy. I will, I lied, actually. I'm gonna kill you today. Sorry, dude. I lied. I needed food. So let me just nom on some pork chops. Alright, Snamin on pork chops. Okay, guys, in the next episode, I'm going to have at least a little, spl a bleh, a little spot cleared out for you guys. Preferably this little area right here, I will have it kind of morphed out and laid out to how I want the house to be built. I might even like put some stuff on the ground to show what's going to go where, where it's going to go what. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So thank you guys for watching Modded Survival Episode 1 on a beautiful sunrise in the morning. Um, I'm that Krogan HD. If you like this, please leave a like. Please leave your feedback in the below in the comment section. It really means a lot when you guys, um, when you guys, uh, you know, leave your feedback. Uh, follow me on Twitter at that Krogan HD. You can also now find me on Facebook, um, Facebook slash that Krogan HD. You can like the page there. I don't go on it as much right now because I don't have a lot of people there looking up stuff. So it's mostly just me looking at my own posts. So I do that from time to time. I like the nostalgia. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.